Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Today, I'm going to continue on a little series I used to do, well, I think the last episode was about a year, year and a half ago. And that is where I pick the least expensive, uh, or I say cheapest, uh, but I know you guys get annoyed by that, least expensive, of these complications. I've done Turbion, Solid Gold Watches, and Perpetual Calendars. And today I'm going to talk about the least expensive annual calendars on the market at the time of this video. Now, what is an annual calendar? It is a uh, watch that knows the difference between months with 30 and 31 days, but does not adjust for February or leap year. So essentially, you only have to adjust it once a year. And also, there are a few rules. The watches must be Swiss, they may not be quartz, and this list may not include any watch, um, one watch per brand. Also, the watch has to be available from, you know, a, uh, a country I would purchase the watch from. So I exclude most of Southeast Asia and South America, uh, simply for the fact that I wouldn't get a watch shipped internationally from those locations for customs and security issues. Now, of course, before we get started, customary wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing my Gerard Perigo Laureato Evo 3 Moon Phase. Not an annual calendar at all. Kind of looks like one, though, with the big date and the moon phase. And also, guys, a couple of new cool watches in stock. We just got in a Jega La Cultura Master Geographic with the box. Very cool world time watch. We just got in a Gerard Perigo Richville Chronograph with the in-house movement. And a Breitling Unitime World Time brand new box papers and also with the Breitling in-house movement. All that and more at, not Chrono24, at DelrayWatch.com, list in the description, uh, link in the description below. I'm having a hard time talking today. I got confused with Chrono24 because that is where I got today's listings from. Chrono24 is an online marketplace, uh, marketplace where a lot of dealers participate, and it's just a great way to browse watches. So today I'm going to show you the five least expensive annual calendars that meet those requirements listed on Chrono24 today, and I'm going to give you my comments on them, and this, cheap, uh, this list is going to go from least expensive to most. Now, starting is a watch that was released, uh, I believe, two years ago, and it is by far the least expensive annual calendar. I mean, guys, let's not forget, annual calendars were invented by Patek Philippe, um, and considered a pretty complicated complication uh, up until Mr. Ludwig Oxlin, a watchmaker, invented a module to basically turn any movement into an annual calendar using nine parts. Uh, and now it's been engineered to the point where it's rather inexpensive. And this Longines Master Collection, uh, moon, uh, not moon phase, but annual calendar, is $1,466. In the classic uh, Master Collection case, 40 millimeters, stainless steel, alligator band, based on an ETA 2892 movement. You're going to see that as a running theme in this list. It's just a classic day-date watch. This one, uh, not day-date, month-date watch. Um, and, you know, no subdials, nothing super fancy, but the movement does have an annual calendar module on it. Uh, the finishing is very simple. The dial is, uh, you know, nothing particularly intricate. Uh, standard Longines with this very cool module in it. But for $1,466 plus $133 shipping, that's pretty expensive for shipping. But plus the shipping, for under $1,600, you get this beautiful complication, which, let's face it, even five years ago, would have never uh, have happened. These annual calendars really have come down in price. Now, moving along, we have a piece that I actually find quite interesting and handsome, and that is a Bedat & Co. 777 annual calendar. What is Bedat & Co.? Well, it's a brand that uh, is long out of business. Well, not that long, probably the mid to late 2000s. Uh, a brand that had a strong collection of ladies' pieces, even though this is a men's watch, um, and was quite popular for some time. It was mismanaged, then sold to an Asian consortium, and I think now they're out of business altogether. 
This has a big date and month display, sub seconds as well, square case, uh, a lot more intricate than the Longines, and at $2,773, quite uh, a bargain. Once again, an annual calendar module on a 2892 movement. I think this bed annual calendar is a very good choice for someone that wants something uh, unique. Um, a lot of people don't know what the brand is, but I can tell you the quality is absolutely there, particularly for the price point. Now, moving on, we have probably my favorite on the list uh, for looks alone, and that is the Corum Admirals Cup Legend 42mm Annual Calendar. This is a sports watch on a bracelet, screw down crown, subdial for the month, a pointer date, 2892 with a separate module with that classic Corum Admirals Cup K-shape. Uh, Corum, a well-known brand for their bubbles and of course their Admirals Cup series, they really are a good brand to get these complications at a pretty reasonable price. I think with the bracelet, as I look at it and with these big crown guards, it actually looks quite masculine. Obviously, it's not going to be for everybody, but a Quorum annual calendar for $3,100 uh, with box and papers and brand new, which actually was shocking because I didn't even, shocking, I didn't actually realize that. I think that is a hell of a deal. Yeah, my Federico, you don't need any more watches. <laughs> Now we have a little bit more of a classic choice, and that is the Mont Blanc Heritage Annual Calendar. Uh, I believe this is 42 millimeters, classic dress watch, uh, the first annual calendar with a moon phase, at least on this list, and the classic kind of perpetual calendar layout with the subdials. Once again, a Salida slash Eta movement with uh, a, uh, an annual calendar module on top of it. The only thing I don't like about this watch is Obviously, the case is slightly too big for the movement because the complications are bunched up in the middle. But for $3,835, once again, brand new, uh, pretty hard to beat. I mean, it's a Richemont brand, a brand that's been going up market. It's a true annual calendar, heck of a dress watch. If you wear a suit and tie or you just prefer something a little bit more formal, this would be a great choice. Now, last is one that I totally forgot about. Uh, it was a big deal when it came out, but totally forgot about it since then. That is the Omega Seamaster Aqua Terra Coaxial Annual Calendar. Uh, 41.5 millimeters, I believe, at $4,169. We have a premier brand offering in an annual calendar at under $5,000. Now this one, you also get 150 meters water resistance, screw down crown, no ETA 2892 base here. I believe it is a caliber 8500 base with their coaxial escapement. Not a traditional annual calendar. doesn't look like an annual calendar. It's kind of got that Longines module, which makes sense because Longines and Omega are both swatch groups, probably the same annual calendar module where you see the month, and the date, um, so kind of that classic arrangement. But you do get this complication in a waterproof case with the bracelet, with the Omega brand name, under $5,000. This one is pre-owned with box and papers. Mm, I don't know, I don't know how you can lose. I mean, personally, I prefer the more, uh, I, you know, the, the, the dial layouts with a little bit more personality. This looks like a day date, even though it's a month date. But I like the pointer dates, I like subdials, I like something that points out it's a little bit of an annual calendar. But here you can have a true sports watch with an in-house movement and an annual calendar module under $5,000. I really don't think anybody can complain all that much. Anyway guys, those are the five choices on Chrono24 right now. Um, at the time of this uh, of the recording of this video, annual calendars are no longer only for the rich and uh, you know thrifty kind of savers amongst us uh, in in the watch collecting community. Almost anyone can afford it, especially if you have a little bit of imagination and you don't care so much about the brand name on the dial. Because I can assure you, everything here from the Beda to the Longines to the Corum. All extremely high quality watches, particularly for the price point. Guys, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help. And please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any content. 
Guys, thank you so much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.